It was Halloween, and I wanted to get one last ride in on my Zizzo Campo before changing into my costume and go trick-or-treating with my friends. I had noticed a trail while walking home from school which I'd never noticed before, and I was immediately drawn to it, like it was calling my name and whispering, Come here, I dare you. So I decided to ride the strange trail. The second I got home, I hopped on the saddle. Maybe it was my imagination or the actual hard winds that were rushing by, but it seemed like the closer I got to the trail, the harder it was to pedal. When I got to the trail's entrance, my heart stopped. The name of the trail was named after the man responsible for a slew of murders in the town, Edmund Claw. Someone had scratched the lettering so it read, Dead Man Claws. The headline story in our neighborhood's paper for that day was Death Row for Claw Ends Today. Was that a coincidence? As my mind was trying to grasp at the abnormalities of the day, I heard the wind or a voice from beyond again whisper, Come here, I dare you. At this point, I couldn't turn back or I couldn't turn my back, fearing that if I did, Claw the murderer would get me from behind. I responded by hitting the pedals hard and while in fifth gear, pushing myself stronger as the main road trailed behind me. It was dark, but the tree branches blazed in the moonlight, stretching their branches toward the trail in an attempt to capture me with their fingertips. Suddenly, a man in a long overcoat appeared in the middle of the trail. I hit my Zizzo's brakes hard and almost fell to the ground. A bit dazed, I blinked and could only see flashing colors, bright lights, demon horns, and a huge claw coming for my throat. Hey, buddy, uh, are you okay? It was my friend Philip's dad, dressed as Krampus, the Christmas devil who punishes naughty children. Oh, oh yeah, I, I'm fine, Mr. Wayne. I remember saying as I got back on my Zizzo. I haven't thought of that story in years, until yesterday, when I found out that Mr. Wayne and Edmund Claw used to be friends before the murder trial.